Before I jump into today's video, I thought I would quickly mention launching my new website, which has all my video reviews in more in-depth blogs, as well as my top 5 pens per price range. Feel free to check it out. Back to today's video, and we have a pen I've wanted for quite a few years, with the Estabrook SD, this being the oversized version. This is the honeycomb finish with gold trim. I picked this pen up while I was on holiday in New York, at the Fountain Pen Hospital. It's a great store with a massive range I would never find back here in Australia. I bought this with a medium nib and the pen came with a converter. The finish on this pen is remarkable, and to be honest it was tough to choose between the honeycomb and the botanical garden colour. The oversized Esty is a huge pen, longer than both the Mont Blanc 149 and Pilot Custom 823. The unique thing about this pen involves a separate purchase, which in my mind is essential when buying the Esty, this being the MV adapter. MV standing for Modern to Vintage Adapter, this lets you put a vintage Estabrook nib on your SD and use it with a converter. The Fountain Pen Hospital had a range of vintage nibs and even gave me one with the adapter. I bought an additional converter to make life easier when switching between the two. The MV adapter section is black, so it is easy to tell which is which. This is such a cool feature that no other pen has offered before. While the SD is expensive for a steel nib pen, you are getting the possibilities of a wide range of different writing experiences. This brings me to the nib, and I have to say, whatever Estabrook do with these steel Yovo nibs, they feel better than any other steel nib I own. Even other number 6 Yovo nibs like my Kavecos. It is so smooth to write with. The nib also stays wet due to the cushion cap closure Estabrook put on the SD. Now for a writing sample. The medium nib is quite broad, as we have come to expect from western nibs. I filled the SD with Noodler's Air Corp Blue Black, which has been a staple of mine for years now. This pen will be a workhorse, so this colour just makes sense. The oversized SD feels great to hold and is comfortable for long writing sessions. It is one of the more appealing pens in my collection, as many of my pens come in black or dark colours. Estabrook stand out with their hand turned acrylic bodies in many amazing colours. I'll now switch to the MV adapter and do a quick writing sample with this 9788 flexible writing nib. I find vintage nibs to be a bit scratchier, perhaps they need some tuning. It writes a lot better than I expected however. If you have multiple vintage Estabrook nibs, they easily unscrew and screw into the MV adapter. The SD has easily become one of my most used pens, with it being a great size and the ability to go between ink colours and nibs when switching to and from the MV adapter. Ink flow with this Yovo nib is also great, which has been a complaint of mine with other Yovo nibs in the past. What are your thoughts on the SD? Is it worth the price tag for a steel nib? I think it is right at the absolute limit of what I'd pay before going to a gold nib, but the quality is definitely there for a great writing experience. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, otherwise thanks for watching, and goodbye.